How are we doing today, bud? Do me a favor, go over this direction so we don't get hit out here. What happened to the car? It just spontaneously caught on fire. Caught on fire? Yeah, like the fan and the radiator was on fire. And oh my. Like, it sounded like maybe a part of the fan broke off because like it popped. And, like, then it started smoking because when I checked, it was like anything on the engine like broke off. Right. Like, it was just the fan itself, but I poured all the water I had in my car on it to stop the fire. Luckily stopped the fire, but... Well, that ain't good. No. What? Well, can I have the keys to this thing? Yeah. Yeah, you're, so you're going to the same yeah. spot I am. If you want to make yourself at home in the truck, bud, and I'll get this thing loaded up.
dumpster. Oh man. Put it right in front of the dumpster. Is that where you want it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of interested to pop the hood and see what actually happened to yeah. it. I think it might be a fuel rail. Fuel rail? I was yeah. thinking maybe that fan might have locked up on it and burned up. Yeah, that's possible too. You saw flames though? Oh yeah, flames. Okay, not just smoke, flames. Oh yeah. But he was able to put it out with water, so that tells me it wasn't fuel. Yeah. All let, right. let me put it in front of the dumpster and we'll look. What you come up with? Well, just looking down here, you know, there's some wires that have obviously been burned through right on his starter. Why well, it might not be starting now, it might have just shorted out. It's like a rusted up on that hose, whatever the line is. That steel line. Looks <laughs> like it might have just been rubbing up against it and arced out. I'd say you might have got lucky, bud. Yeah, you might have. Still, that's a pain in the butt to get to all that down uh, in there, though. Yeah, take this intake off, and but it'll be all right. It could have been a lot worse. About twenty dollars so to fix that. So far, yeah, it could have been so much worse. <laughs> still smoking. I, yeah. I'm just glad I saw it when I did, because yeah. that was yeah. kind of terrifying. And luckily, like I said, I keep an uh, odd amount of water in my car. <laughs> <laughs> I was Some like, people would just keep driving. Yeah. Well, I was like, you know, one day what's going to happen is my car is going to break down. I like to travel a lot. So nope. I'm like, I always travel. I'm going to break down one day. And you know, no one ever stops for someone on the With highway. With the wires like that, if so, it'd be me, I'd replace that fan while you were at it. Yeah. Since you're already going to be in there. Just be on the safe side. Yeah. Looks, like the wire, looks like the wires just kind of rubbed up against itself. Rubbed a hole in them. Locked. Yeah. 
Short, short to my, yeah, them out. Something. Huh? Something. Brother, good luck to you. Well, have fun, you. man. Thank you. It was nice I, meeting you. I would pick you. I don't have any cash don't, on Don't trip, so brother. Sorry. It's all good. It's all good. Have a good one, brother. I would have showed you the damage, but there's some wires down there, and it looks like there's an oil line down there or something that's a steel line, and it looks like the wires were rubbing up against it, and they finally rubbed through, and when they rubbed through it, and the heat off that oil line or whatever was down there, and they arced the wires off, and hit a wire, hit it uh, fire through the wires, electrical fire. But it wasn't bad, though. There's only a group of wires down there that are melted, so... They should be able to fix that pretty easy. He got really lucky. Luckily, he was paying attention to his car and pulled his butt over. Because if we'd kept on driving, he'd have been done. <laughs>